Hey people, Intrude here, 1v1, Calderis, Refinery, Blue Side. Aboba is a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support. Up against Val Hero with a Tech Marine, starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. Big old servo arm he can smack you with too. Check out Val Hero on Twitch, by the way, I'll put a link down below in the description and stuff if I remember. If I don't remember, you can yell at me in the comments. We have Tactical Marines, look at them go. Double term against two. I wonder if these guys will go straight to the mid, where they may ace isolate themselves against a Lictor Alpha, which I don't want. Although, no telling if Val Hero actually knows they're up against the Lictor Alpha. Tech Marine will most likely go west side, run into the Hormagaunts, and then need help from the Tactical Marines. Scouts are going to run into Termigants on the east side. I wonder who wins that melee fight. Scouts versus Termigants is probably quite pathetic and slow and maybe reasonably close. I assume the Termigants will win just by sheer numbers though. Here we see the Hormagaunts. They have found the Tech Marine and he looks tasty. Might see some power armored elbows from those Tactical Marines too. No, they're just shooting them. Fair enough. And don't get a model. Surely one of them will fall over on retreat. That's a miracle. It's a small Tyranid miracle. The hive mind is very pleased. None of them died. They didn't do a huge amount of damage to the tech marine though, to be fair. I guess it's t difficult to get eight models around a standard marine sized thing. Oh, look at that. It is scouts versus termigants in melee. And they've got toxin sacks, so they handily win the fight there. Giving them more health. Yeah, 10% more health doesn't help their melee damage though. Which must be pretty low. But the scouts couldn't win it. They couldn't get it done. They actually didn't even kill one of them. Quite unlikely that they would unless two of them smacked the same model. Tech Marine killed one though and there's a powerful sweep. Remember when I said that server arm can smack you? There you saw it. Also gives him more melee damage and more health and more health regen. So perhaps we'll see the axe in tier 2. Lictor Alpha got the flesh hook. Couldn't pull him off this little cliff though. Who's that in the mid? That's the Tactical Marines with their faster capping trait. The only people in the Space Marine Army that learned how to cap stuff. Toxin Sacks. Crippling Poison gets the Lictor Alpha in there. Lictor Alpha starts with, I think it's 63 odd melee DPS. Which I believe is the highest in the game. But he's quite squishy and has no ranged attack. If you don't count his Flesh Hook of course. Has no sidearm at least. Hormagons have found the Tactical Marines. And they're close to dropping a model here. Lictor might might be better suited to turn around and, and smack when they did drop a model, in fact. I don't think they'll get another, but it's pretty close. That was pretty close to dropping another there. Scouts do have their shotguns, but they can't do that shotgun blast over and over again. Need to, I think it's 60 second cooldown, isn't it? Which is quite long. Certainly not a second scout squad up. They went double gens, suggesting they want to get assault marines, but it might just be because they want shotguns and tech marine war gear. No sign of that mastercrafted bolter, so the hope of the axe in tier 2 is alive. I like seeing the melee tech marine run around and wrecking stuff. Oh, it's double tax from Val Hero. Alrighty then. Might be looking to get a flamer up then with the second squad to go straight for the power. Eastern power gets a node. Are they going to shotgun it down? Might want to get closer. I thought maybe they just decap this fully matured wreck point. I think that's a better use of their time, but here come Termigants anyway. And it's probably not a very good fight for the scouts when they've got those toxin sacks. They need to get so close to use those shotguns. They can get the blast, which would suppress them. Probably best to do that. Run up, blast them, suppress them, shoot them while they're suppressed, and then just back away. So they can't shoot you back because eight models, Termigants, with that damage buff will shred scouts pretty quickly. Those guys are confused about the node on the west side. We have a Ravener brood up for Aboba. I'm not sure if Aboba is another player under a different name. It's hard to keep track of them all. Here's the second tax squad ready to defend the power, which was not repaired that much, actually. Both the Termigants have their toxin sacks, which means, yeah, don't have any adrenal glands for these guys because the Raffin has come onto the field. But there's still a threat, the Hormagaunts. We saw what they did to those tactical marines. Little leap into combat there. 
411 to 500. Got one gen, they're gonna get a second, I think. Ravener Brood, pretty decent in melee, as you can see. Good special there, too. Double Termigants show up to ruin their day. Maybe get a model, there's the Toxin Sacks picked in Poison. Lots of pressure on Val Hero so far. The scouts do have their sergeant who knows how to throw grenades. Tech Marine just leveled. Got a pretty damn good default bolter. I think it's around 30 DPS. After crafted makes it slightly more at 33-ish or something. Got close enough for the powerful sweep, but it was pretty low there. A grenade on retreat path, maybe. The scouts are dropping models, they did not go for it. Maybe they're waiting for the Ravners to retreat instead. Oh, a flesh hook. Uh-oh. The Scout Sergeant is a die last hero, so he can wipe the full squad by just attacking that guy. It's such a mixed blessing, isn't it, having that die last hero? It means your Sergeant can't be sniped by a flesh hook, but also means they can be dragged into huge amounts of danger by just getting and isolating that Scout Sergeant. 390 to 500, 1 to 1 cap, Ravna Brood did not drop a model, tier 2 for both players, Val Hero slightly sooner, did not go for a power bash, was mostly in defense mode, powerful sweep did some decent work I think, I think it was worth the purchase, I mean imagine the pressure they would have been under if they didn't have it, the times they hit the Hormagaunts with it, Victor Alpha being sneaky, can't spot him unless he get very, very close, or of course, unless the scout sergeant's around. Not only can he chuck grenades, he can also see stuff really well. Pretty sure tapped marines have frag grenades in the tabletop. Cracks and frags, I think, unless it's changed as in many editions since I knew anything about tabletop. So many new units now. Shotgun's doing some good work there. Just sort of tech ring, just trying to get into melee. Here's the Ravener Brood, but they are isolated. Good DPS on those guys, though. Gene Stiller Brood on the way for a Boba. Will Val Hero make me happy and get a Dreadnought? Probably not. So much power for those things. Dreadnought would be super effective, though, against Gene Stealers. Tapped Queens are not facing the right direction, but as a man, they're not staying there for the cap. Well, Scouts are going for it. Ravana Brood will get isolated and have to flee. Hormagaunt's here, yep. Any war gear for the Licta. He can get a power weapon in tier 1. The feeder tendrils, which are pretty nasty. Didn't see them there, though. Flesh hook kills one of the scouts. And they run. You would, wouldn't you? If you're hanging out with four fellas and one of them gets flesh hooked. Get out of there. Run away. Tech Marine kicking some ass at level 2 with that default bolter here. Are the Gene Stealers melee superiority? And they certainly are against a infantry based Space Marine composition. But here comes a Razorback. Got some Rippers spawned from the Capillary Tower here. They can snare stuff and just generally annoy it. Victor being sneaky, but not for long. Just ran out of energy there. Couldn't maintain the sneakiness. Got to concentrate pretty hard. It's a big old thing. Here's your razor back then. Has that twin linked heavy bolter. Good anti infantry damage. Linked to Alpha runs away, but some good power pressure here from a Boba. Gene Stiller Brood can get a heavy melee upgrade in tier 3. It was a tier 2 upgrade for a little while, but I think it was reverted back to tier 3. Bashing pretty well. Can the Razorback bleed stuff? enough to make a boba back off just seems to be ignoring it for now which is what you should do because they can't really combat it super well these lives with that heal on hit and they can pop their adrenal rush for even more heal on hit and more damage and more speed and i think even damage resistance is a really good buff i wish they had a brood leader or something or maybe a brood leader was turned into a fourth hero for tyrannies that'd be pretty damn cool Tier 3 for a Boba? Nope. Cancels it to go for the Venom Brood. Val Hero. Trying to cap stuff up. We do have Tactical Marines with a Sergeant here. The Sergeant's a pretty good melee fighter with Chainsword and Bolt Pistol. 
the sacred standard looks cool, but it doesn't actually do anything. He is running back to the Razorback. Oh my god, it's leveled yet? No. They've done really well though, and they haven't had their adrenal glands. It's Venom Brood into tier 3 for Aboba. Venom Brood are your anti-vehicle tier 2 unit for Tyranids. As Venom Cannons do some good work for you. 2 to 1 for Val Hero. They have maintained a VP lead. Aboba has really been concentrating on the power bashing. The sergeant has popped in on these guys. We do have Stern Guard veterans up. The other squad turned into Stern Guard, which means they got that model back and now are a unique unit. Can change their ammo to combat all armor types. They'll be using their Hellfire rounds for now because. Most of the stuff on the field is infantry, Venom Brood Heavy Infantry, and the Lictor, of course, with Commander Armor on. Gene Stiller's being sneaky, those guys are automatically sneaky if they stay idle. We have a Plasma Gun Tech Marine. Huge DPS when you use Overcharge, pretty damn good DPS even without it. And super effective against Heavy Infantry such as the Venom Brood, which will count as a synapse creature so they have that synapse backlash just sort of powerful sweep overcharges up going for the venom brood was that another powerful sweep what was that was that just a special attack he couldn't have been i'm not sure why they were knocked over there oh because the venom brood dropped a model and that was a synapse backlash of course tactical marines can also pop their crack on bolts for 20 percent more damage to heavy infantry the stern guard can't do that they just switch to crack on bolts permanently or for as long as they need to I guess using their hellfire rounds it does do damage over time to the Lictor Alpha 2 Kraken bolts would be more raw DPS though hellfire still useful for retreating stuff as it does that damage over time I believe they're meant to be acid rounds or something just kind of eating into their exoskeletons I suppose what are you up to fellas vengeance rounds and then shoot the generator Nope, they're just taking point, I guess. Yes? Yes, apparently they are. Razorback is repaired. Capillary Tower feeling its wrath. And we see the reinforced armor plating on the way. Surprised that these guys didn't load in their vengeance rounds and take down this generator. They definitely would have got it, but they were used as an early warning system. They did drop a model. Razorback does reinforce squads in the field. You can also jump inside the drive around. Not sure what poor bastard is stuck in there driving and can never leave. It's be terrifying. Shotgun blast out of stealth. Venom Brood RA detector, so they can spot the sneaky scouts if they're close enough. Getting shots on a Razorback. Did they? Didn't seem to take any damage there. They shouldn't be able to miss it. I guess they were shooting the scouts maybe or something. Refractor field up now for the Tech Marine. Unique shield that also debuffs accuracy of stuff that's shooting at him. Because, you know, it refracts the light. It makes him confusing to shoot at, I suppose. Raveners versus Tapped Marines with Sergeant. They are quite low, though. And having to flee. Meanwhile, back on the west side, Termigants flee. Gene Steel is looking to eat something or cleave it in half, I suppose. It's insane how sharp their claws are meant to be in the lore, being able to rip through Terminator armor and stuff. I mean, regardless of how sharp they are, how strong must they have to be to do that? 322 to 397, I'm not sure if that's been expanded upon at some point. Do they like secrete some kind of acid that just cleaves through things? How do they do this? Grim darkness, I, I suppose is the answer. Don't question grim dark logic. Stone Guard found some former gaunts, but they do get away. Still a VP lead for Val Hero. Aboba really hasn't concentrated on the VPs though, trying to put damage into Val Hero's economy. And they have been tier 3 for a while. Val Hero might be saving for it now. There's a capillary tower to boost speed. War gear, yes. Corrosive Claws are in. Increases the damage something takes by 20% and slows them down. 
It's also a pretty scary power melee weapon in its own right, over 60 DPS and Toxic Cyst is in. Gives him more health regen and does AoE piercing damage. We've got the Lone Hunter as well. So if he isolates himself from allies, becomes very scary. I think it's 30 radius. If he's, if he's at least 30 radius against away from any allies, yeah there it is. Does 50% more damage and takes 25% less. It's pretty scary. Rippers just used to distract things. That was a flesh hook. I'm not sure if there's a visual indication of whether he's receiving the Lone Hunter bonus. Obviously he wouldn't be in this situation. Is there some kind of visual for it? I feel like there should be. It's too close to stuff at the moment. Scout's being sneaky. Ben and Brood will spot them though. Crack on bolts loaded in for the stern guard. Ravener Brood initiating. Lictor gets in there. Gene Stiller Brood now have their rending claws. I believe it's slightly less DPS maybe, but it's heavy melee. Or it might be just that it's slightly less DPS against heavy infantry because they lose the power melee bonus against them. More tactical marines show up. Shield really helping out the tech marine there. Doesn't stop him getting knocked over because it has the accuracy debuff, but it does obviously absorb the damage. It's a decent little push from a boba. Got the caps. Has the midway point of the map now. And that is noded as well on the east side. Poor Magunt still doing their capping stuff. Tier 3 for Val Hero. What's their red look like? I want to see a venerable dropped in there, damn it. Really nice grenade play there from Val Hero. Gets a good grenade. Stayed in play as well. Looking at the power. Are they going to shoot it? Just some repairs going in. What is this? Stone guard shooting stuff with the wrong rounds there. Should be using Bendis rounds to shoot the... There we go, they're switching. There we go. Bendis rounds, good versus structures. Super heavy infantry. And vehicles. We haven't seen any yet from a Boba. Kind of surprised we saw the Lictor Alpha fully kitted out at level 1 instead of getting the Carnifex up quicker. You need to start paying for yourself, Mr. Lictor Alpha, I think. Paying for those investments you got. I think the Razorback is done for. Yes, it is. Tech Marine maybe gets away. Gene Sid is a given chase. Can they get another hit, though? I'm not sure if they're fast enough. I don't think they are. Gets away. Valhero now down to three units. They are tier three with tons of requisition. A Boba not that far off getting a Carnifex. Or maybe saving for a Swarm Lord, actually. Swarm Lord complements your Jinx did a push pretty damn well with the speed and the reinforcement. They don't have their melee synapse though, of course, so they're not quite as scary as they could be. Although, melee synapse doesn't make you do more damage, but the extra melee skill and the extra health is pretty amazing for Gene Stealers. Good split here to cap from a boba. Not staying idle. Trying to get this power back on the east side. The west side is also decapped. Double taxa here. They could punish the jump. Nope, the jump was defensive. They got away with it. Although, they're now standing there. Do they stand? Yeah, standing up on their tails. And taking shots. Razorback can now be used as heavy cover. Here come the gene stealers. <laughs> These guys leave the area. Assault squad on the field for Val Hero. I was not expecting that at all. With gene stealers around and an upgraded Lictor Alpha is now level 2 by the way. Looks like that debuff is on a per model basis. I'm not seeing the debuff circle all the time though, which is strange. Drop pod and a venerable dreadnought in play for Val Hero. Unique walker for the tech marine. Tons of health, 1750 at level 1. And this guy can get more by leveling and the Dark Age of Technology, which was one of the great changes made in Elite Mod. You can give Dark Age of Technology for this fella. Give him 300 more hit points. He can also charge, which is amazing. There was talk many, many years ago now of giving this guy a last cannon upgrade, which would be very, very cool, but probably 
would need to be pretty expensive, seeing as, or or maybe have it debuff his health or something. But Space Marines aren't really lacking in uh, good anti-vehicle options, I suppose. Would be nice to see him get some kind of upgrade, I don't know. Can Dreadnoughts get some other kind of melee weapon, like a Chain Fist or something? Or is that just a Terminator thing? 230 to 299, that's just me wanting the Venerable Dreadnought to be even cooler. They chose a bad time to try and decap. Level 5 Tech Marine does get the cap here and then runs most likely. Maybe? Nope, sticking it out. What are Gene Zillas doing? I don't know, they're being weird. I don't know why they have that, that health pulse. Why they, why they get why they get that pulse going as soon as they get close to something it should only be popping when they attack stuff I don't think it means they're actually getting health it's just the effect misfiring for some reason it, it, it used to do it more I think and they fixed it a bit Tech Marine went down we got some Vanguard veterans for Val Hero Venerable Dreadnought meanwhile has been taking Venom Cannon shots from a Carnifex and a Venom Brood Big old Emperor's Fist. I wonder if the Hormagaunts are being sacrificed here. Ouch. Stone Guard getting wrecked on retreat there by the Lich Alpha and the Flesh Rick gets another one. Shotgun Blast. Look how much red a Boba has. They can drop a Tyranno Formation which might stop a cap or something later. Get away, Venerable. Get away. Oh, is he debuffing it? Huh. It does say enemy units. It does not specify infantry. Making it take 20% more damage on hit. Pretty good. I don't think it's charged yet. Surely you can charge away, big fella. Oh, there's Gene Sillers there, though. I don't think he's going to make it, fellas. I don't think he's going to make it, you guys. Charge. Goes for it. Was it perfectly timed? Two hit points. Perfectly timed to jump as well from the Vanguard veterans. Wow, it gets away. I thought it was done for. For sure. No, he should have gone to base. Where have you gone to? Should have gone into base, I think, with the scouts there to repair. Carnifex is still chasing. It's not safe yet. There is the toxic cysts. What's the thing called? Toxic burst. Getting destroyed, though. Found God veterans with their power melee weapons. Taking him out. Did some good damage to the stone god, though. Venerable Dreadnought still trying to escape. Vanguard veterans could maybe tie up the uh, carn effects. Dancing around. Ah, oh, the Venom Brute found it. And there's Stoicism to finish it off. Gets those 10 seconds of constant inspiration and a damage bonus, I believe, as well. Taran formation is in there. Not sure why it was used. Maybe just to help the carn effects get away. And, I mean, it has got away. Very sad that the Venerable fell over. Very sad. We came a little bit earlier. Thank God did some good work there though. To try and save it. Just couldn't quite get it done. Valley Hero has no requisition to reinforce or to repurchase the Tech Marine. Has got the fist up on the Vanguard Veterans though. So they can do some damage to the kind of fix. It won't be a huge amount. 50 heavy melee DPS would translate to 25 DPS to a vehicle armor unit. But it will add up with the power melee in there as well. Gene Stillers have found some missile launcher tactical marines. There's a merciless strike from the vanguard. Grenade goes in. Didn't quite hit them flush. But those tacks got absolutely wrecked. I don't know why they stayed in there so long. I think maybe they thought the Merciless Strike would hit a little bit better, maybe. They do get away. They used it to escape, I think. Here comes the Lictor Alpha, repurchased. And it's now... Wow, that was a lot of damage. That must have been Lone Hunter activated. Is it that? Is it that white glow on his hands? Or is that just from having corrosive claws? I think there should definitely be some kind of visual for Lone Hunter, if there isn't already. And I'm just missing it. That red glow is a natural hero glow. 
Tech Marine doesn't have a glow. Oh, he's got a glow as well. He's got a red glow. 230 to 170. Gets it for a double here, Aboba. And has a sizable amount of resources. I, I would say get a melee Carnifex. But they might go Swarm Lord or even Tier 3 Lictor here. Tier 3 Lictor would do some good work as well. Shooting up the towers for some free red. And I assume it gives XP. Level 3 Stern Guard here. Does it give XP? No, they don't give XP. Huh. 8 red per isn't bad. Vanguard having to jump away from Lictor Alpha has done well in the last 5 minutes or so with that with that loadout. Tech Marines level 5 doing some really good damage to the plasma gun. But can he stay safe? Back onto the field. Here come Rippers. Shield goes up. Going for the decap. Gene Sealers are not responding. This guy also has a bioplasma, which is pretty scary. Here comes a drop. No, it's Terminators. No, it's not. It's this drop. Is it another Venerable Dreadnought? No. It was just a reinforcement drop pod from the Tech Marine. Not sure how much stuff it reinforced there, but I assume it was worth it. The Lictor Alpha goes down. That was a bit of a sloppy loss from a Boba on the hero there. They are going to grab the mid. 230 to 100 on the VPs. Hormigaunts. No, Termigants on capping duty now. Where are the Hormigaunts? They are going to bash power. Done pretty well exploiting these flanks of Boba, mostly with the Hormigaunts on the west side. Missile launch attacks are going to have a word here, but they might lose the gen. What is this? Scouts, grenade. Beautifully timed. Got six of them. Could have finished them with the Vanguard veterans potentially in melee, but wanting to get that wreck point. Oh, you couldn't get a model, fellas. Did I just see one of them do a kick? I'm pretty sure the missile launcher fella did a kick there. I don't remember have that fella having a kick animation, but it was pretty fun. We now have a Strangled Thorn Cannon Carn Effects. So they did not go for the melee because of this. Look how good this weapon is. If my keyboard stops freaking out, there we go. Plasma Cannon damage with the suppression. Good AoE. Just needs to hit one of the models for them all to be suppressed. Ouch. Getting some really good hits. Combined with the Gene Stealers getting in there as well. And I've kind of got some decent hits in there, it seems. Tech Marines on capping duty, making some good use of this shield. Can the Venom Cannon hit him, though? Not, not yet, but here come Gene Stealers, and they can hit him. After they get up from the powerful sweep. Actually got the cap there. Actually got it. Scout's being sneaky. It's a juicy target for a grenade over here. Not sure what they're going for. Maybe for the, for the VP. Looks like it. Team still is capping. They're under infiltration, which is why they're glowing red. Because you can't stay invisible while you cap stuff. You can stay invisible while you decap stuff. Unless Venom Brute get too close to you. Wow. They dropped the model really fast to those Raveners there. And they're not even under ranged synapse. What level are they? Level 3. Vanguard get in, in there. Gisellas are there to counter initiate, and it's a good use of the suppression. Terminators in. Using their power fist to tie up the Carnifex. And this is where you miss not having that melee Carnifex. With all that health and all that scary melee. And of course, melee resistance. Strangle Thorn unable to fire. There we go. Gets a good shot on the Terminators. Former Guns are there. Level 3. Can the Strangle Thorn can you get another shot? Doesn't seem like they want to risk it. 
Valhira with a very ballsy push there and does retain the mid. Lictor Alpha is still down. Tech Marine, meanwhile. We need to shoot our plasma gun again. 182 to 77. Really think they should have gone for the thorn back. I'm not sure I agree with the Venom Cannon Carnifex purchase. I mean, I guess yeah, they wouldn't have got the Venerable with just the Venom Brood, would they? They needed to get something else. But now, unless it's shooting at Terminators, it's going to be missing most of the time. Current formation. Got some good hits on the Terminators. I don't think they had their teleport available. I think I might have seen them just use it. Bormagorn's getting in there. These guys deserve adrenal glands. They did take down one of them. There's the teleport. Very close to getting another two. Can get the mid back. Still no range synapse. What's their pop like? Their pop is still quite low. They want another kind of fix, I guess. Oh, the tech marine went down. Cyclone missed the launcher. Can't stop the cap. If it doesn't knock you far enough away, you'll still keep, you'll still keep on capping. Vanguard jumping in. Going after the Ravener Brood, but here come the Teen Stillers. What level are those fellas now? Level 3. They are very scary. Former Gaunts might go down, though. They get away. And they did get the cap as well. There's a 2 to 1 for a Boba. Needs to get onto this VP, I think, right now. Needs to try and put a nail in this. Shotguns. No, it's a grenade. It's a really good grenade. There's some brave scouts waiting for the Gene Sitters to get right on top of them. Gene Sitters do get away. Lictor Alpha back to his feet. So that's where the requisition went. Strangled Thorn takes out another Tactical Marine. Those guys are level 4 though. They are tough as hell. Another really good shot. Strangled Thorns are so good. Terminator's coming into melee. But I mean, it's still a Carnifex with claws the size of buildings. Getting in melee with it is not without risk and down go the Terminators. Carnifex gets it. But is it going to get away now? I don't think it is. Vanguard veterans are there. Orbital bombardment as well. That's a pretty good nuke, you know. Got the Termigants, got the Raveners and it will destroy the Carnifex. The Carnifex didn't move for some reason. It was shooting the Vanguard veterans. And it takes out the Lictor Alpha. He was not up for very long. What the hell? What else happened to him? I wasn't paying attention to the to Lictor Alpha there. Overcharged Plasma. And a powerful sweep. Down to 30 VPs. Val Hero has taken out both the Carnifexes. And might have this game now, you know. Now Boba does not have the resources to respond. They've they've spent too much requisition re repurchasing the Lictor, I think. I think they've lost it a couple of times quite sloppily. One, four, two to thirty. Powerful sweep again from a level nine tech marine here. Tough as hell. Ten eighty hit points and the shield. Val Hero might have done enough. And I think they have. Is that Vanguard coming out? Two Vanguard models coming out. Scouts can get to the to the VP relatively fast. Get a decap. Get the double. It's going to be close. Lictor Alpha is back on the field again. He needs to go for that natural VP, I think. And the rest of, his rest of his army contest this though. Flash trick on a tech marine. Goes after him. Did not see the powerful sweep to knock him back. Saving it for the gene stealers most likely. We got another call in. What was it? It's a reinforcement to get those vanguard veterans back. Licked to Alpha is taking so much damage from the Stone Guard here. Level 4 Stone Guard with those Hellfire rounds are kicking his ass. Vanguard, get a big Synapse Backlash off that Venom Brood kill. Look at that. Level 3 Vanguard, they have done really well actually, these guys. Would they have done so well 
if that was a thorn back instead of the strangled thorn can't fix though I mean I thought the Gensilers would be like much more I mean they're still they are a massive threat but being able to jump away makes a big difference there's the toxic burst Gensilers getting very low Lictor Ralph are getting very low can they jump they can't quite jump Look at this, Valhero is going to get a triple. Stone guard on capping duty with that faster capping. Really good use of that drop pod, and now they're reinforcing off it, as you can see. There's a triple, and I think that's enough. I think Valhero's done it. They can get this VP back, but I don't know if they can push on and get another and hold. Yeah, they're going to give it a go. Turn of formation. Vanguard jump away from it provide some really nice buffs to your stuff but it's not able to hang in there for long enough Cormagant's never got their adrenal glands Vanguard are getting messed up though Flesh Hook, where is it? Didn't need it Vanguard are, are melted but the triple cap is there and Valhero has the game was close as hell level 6 Lictor Alpha here level 10? yep, level 10 Tech Marine Awesome stuff. Love to see the Venerable, even though it didn't do a whole lot. I wonder what it would have been like if that second kind of effects of the Thornback. Might have been different. Might have been very different. Could have charged away from trouble and stuff. And really messed up the Vanguard. But that Strangle Thorn was so good. It's a tough choice to make. But there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.